Frenchko is like many of us, shortchanging his sleep and waking up tired. In the morning, I feel a little groggy, a little takes me a little bit more to get up and start my day going. Our nightlife follows a predictable pattern. If it's consistently interrupted, it affects our well-being. It's surprising how little we know about something we spend a third of our life doing. Sleep isn't a total brain shutoff. We may be resting, but our body is doing its job. There is some rejuvenation in our brain that we do from sleep, but there's also a lot of active function. And therein lies the biggest misconception about sleep. It has to do with the role of REM, or rapid eye movement. Few people understand it. That's the, your deepest cycle of sleep, so that's where you really are, are honed into your sleeping cycle and getting the most rest. Absolutely not. Very, very commonly people misconceive. They think that, that REM is your deep sleep, and REM is actually a very active brain process. Throughout the night, we move back and forth between deep restorative non-REM stages and the alert REM phase. Together they form a complete cycle that repeats four to six times. Not the restful state, REM serves a vital purpose. When we do certain uh, functional MRI studies or, or PET scans, we can see that there are certain areas that are actually more activated during sleep than during a wake period. Just as deep sleep renews the body, REM sleep renews the mind. That's where we consolidate short-term memories into long-term memories. When you deprive people of REM, they're not able to consolidate as many of the, the long-term memories. It's also thought REM replenishes feel-good chemicals like serotonin and dopamine. To get more REM, try sleeping an extra 30 minutes in the morning when REM stages are longer. If you aren't getting enough deep sleep, your body will make that up first at the expense of your REM. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.